apparently lying on just her own channel wasn't enough. So now she's doing it on other people's platforms as well. I'm breathing. I'm basically on the same thing you guys are. I'm trying to get down to the bottom of this bullshit. She's not doing the same thing we're all doing. We're really here for the right reasons. She's spreading lies like AIDS in the 80s. Right. I'm a mother, first off. I have, I have girls. You know, I have nieces that party. I'm from Chicago. I live here. You know, listening to a lot of this, I just wish people would really come out and they really expose the truth for what it is. First off, every employee at that hotel are all crisis actors. So if everybody's actors, why do they need edits? Because at the end of the day, I'll wait. I'm just saying. Yeah, they, they, everybody, mostly everybody in that hotel was either friends with somebody or knew somebody. Now, mm -hmm. I just had somebody say, Chief Keith wasn't there. Chief Keith was there. D Thang was there. And Lil Dirk was there too. Did they quite now? Did D Thang and Lil Dirk? No, they did not participate. Only reason why Lil Dirk was there was because his brother was there. Only reason why his brother was there because his brother was married to a Nez. Now, we all know they were not there, but she's so proud of herself about learning about him being married to a Nesbitt after watching my video. Yay. Well, His brother was married to a Nesbitt. Everybody know D-Thang just passed away here a mm -hmm. week ago. So, yeah, he was married to a Nesbitt. That's the only reason why they were there. Now, Chief mm. Keith, on the other hand, I heard was just bug wild. This is the thing most people don't want to understand with this case. That is not that baby walking through the hallways. It's not her period. Mm. If you look at it, pay attention. If you know about editing and you can go in and unlayer those videos, because that's all it is, is, layers on top of layers on top of layers. When you really yeah. do all that, you see the elevator footage. She's not mm -hmm. walking off the elevator. She's being drugged off the elevator by Shamaya yeah. and Monifa and whoever else was with them at the end of the day. Coincidence to me is how is Peas or Killer, whichever one of them it is, how you start off standing at that elevator, which really ain't an elevator. Mm. It's a secret door. Now, this thing, guess who had, it was, it was multiple rooms. Yeah, you had room 926, 924, mm -hmm. but you also had room on the 11th floor. Guess who was in that room? Mm -hmm. That was Teresa Martin's room. That's what Zach was the whole time. If you go back to the video footage and slow it down, I mean really slow it, slow it down, you'll mm -hmm. see Teresa pop her head up out the bathroom and you'll see Carl in there too. Mm. Of which we tried many times and we never saw neither one of them. Now I'm going to see what people messed up at and they didn't pay attention to. Now let's go back to Irene's live. Mm -hmm. When she on the phone, hello? Yeah, park in the back parking lot. Slow it down mm -hmm. and listen to the voice on the phone in the background. You had us do that the other day. It sounded like a man. Teresa Martin. When she calls back, yeah, room 926. You get Teresa playing a day. What's the room again? You know her voice is very distinctive. Very mm -hmm. distinct. You can't disguise her voice, period. You hear her playing a day on the other end, saying, yeah. come to room 926. Not only that, when she's talking to the guy, when she's reading the phone, when she's mm -hmm. like, ooh, he said happy birthday, thank you. That's mm -hmm. the so-called manager at the front desk. Mm. I've been hey. going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth since day one with this case. Before any groups came along, any of that. I've always been doing this case on my own. Everybody always asks me, why do I keep going back to the drawing board? Why do you keep going back? Because if you go back, it's a lot of shit that you don't see that's now coming to the surface. Like, if you, right. you want to be truthful, you really want to go pay attention to King Rob, Chosen King, T Knight, Trey Gang. They all telling on each other. I, I didn't either, but certain videos I paid attention to and kind of looked at. Like, I got the video with uh, Antonia Evans, who's originally in the grave to begin with. Don't nobody know Kanika ever made it to the hotel alive. Y'all want to know who killed Kanika? Zach killed Kanika. Because he'd been fucking on a girl since she was 12 years old. And when the girl got grown and finally decided to get her own life, she told her she didn't want to be with him. Mm. So he slit her throat, which was played. Because actually, on some for real shit, that was supposed to be the real Kanika walking through them hallways. But she never mm. made it. Now, the picture y'all see in the uh, Irene's glasses, where you see the girl they saying is Kanika laying across the bed asleep. She ain't sleep. Mm. She dead. They in that room. Irene got her son, her four-year-old son, in that room during all of this. It's beyond deep. It's people just don't get this shit is way deeper than, than, than people think it is. This just ain't no cakewalk in the park. Let's, oh, okay, no, let, me tell let me tell y'all how it really came. Let me take y'all back to the beginning. Had all come mm -hmm. out. This is how Kanika got produced to these people in the first place. James Coleman, who was originally married to Patricia Coleman, well, Teresa's sister. James was married to her first. James worked for the biological center, guess where? In Rosemont. Remember the truck that got pulled over with the 76 dead bodies in it? James Coleman was driving that truck. He got pulled over because it was blood leaking out the back of the truck. It's all over YouTube. It's all over. It was all. As quick as possible because ignorance is getting spread on thick. James Lamont Coleman. That is him. What was he arrested and charged with? and put in prison for. 
date of birth, September 24th, 1971. There's his tattoos. He was arrested or admitted into the prison August the 8th of 1993. He was paroled in 2016. He got off paper in 2019. He was charged with murder or intent to kill. 50 years. The charge came from September 20th of 20, uh, 1991. Now let's jump over to the biological whatever, whatever, what's it say, resource center. Right here. The only article, news report, that you're going to find about anything leaking any blood anywhere with the body parts and the biological resource stuff, whatever, was at Detroit's airport. Not in the back of a truck. In the airport in Detroit, in the cargo warehouse, where two of the coolers started leaking. They actually show it on the news all over the floor. Baggage handlers were alarmed. The blood started oozing out of the containers. Federal authorities called to investigate were bracing for a gruesome discovery. They flipped the lids open to find eight severed heads packaged in a trash bag resting in pools of blood according to federal indictment. One of the heads came from a person who died in bacterial sepsis and pneumonia, the indictment said. Nothing about no 79 bodies in the back of a truck or a van or whatever. No James. And it was an Arthur. See? Stop lying. Damn. To 10, it's been more than five years since ABC 15 first exposed a scandal involving a body donation business in Phoenix. A place known as the Biological Resource Center and a place with one promise. Connects those who wish to donate their body to science with medical research and education facilities. Turns out the donation was just the beginning. The owner accused of selling bodies and body parts, a trial set to begin in just months. And tonight, new grisly details of what the FBI says really happened. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez is live. And Nicole, this paints a Frankenstein-like picture. <laughs> Yeah, it really does. Katie and Steve closed for years. This building off 24th Street and University doesn't look like much, but according to new claims in these court documents, the Biological Resource Center was essentially running a chop shop for human body parts, mixing, matching, and selling them in ways we never heard of until tonight. Described as unsettling, but it sounds a whole lot worse. One FBI agent revealing what it was really like inside the Phoenix body donation facility. In 2014, he saw everything from buckets of heads, arms, and legs to coolers filled with severed penises when the FBI raided the building. Confused and, and angry. That was from the same story when I clicked that link of a business deal that deals in human body parts shifting from Detroit to Chicago as the feds launch a new raid. And once again, hundreds of families will be left wondering if the bodies of loved ones have been bought and sold on the black market. 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirchner is here tonight with a story you'll see only on 7 Jim. Stephen and Carolyn, this case started here according to sources when a man named Arthur Rathburn was shipping human body parts through Metro Airport. Get this, the box leaked blood. Those cargo haulers then called for help. Why were you stockpiling hundreds of human body parts here, sir? Does that look like James Lamont Coleman? I didn't think so. That's Art Rathburn. And remember his business 13 months ago? For two days, federal investigators dressed in hazmat suits removed body parts of a thousand different people 
Arms, legs, heads cut up and kept on ice, not embalmed, so they would be fresh for the black market. Today, the rundown warehouse on Detroit's east side is shuttered and up for sale. Sources say Rathburn's seized records led them to the Chicago area today, a business called Biological Resource Center in Rosemont. It's difficult to see from the outside, but sources say the hazmat suits and raid are underway on the sixth floor of this office building. The same paper trail led investigators to Biological Resource Center in Phoenix last January and another raid removing body parts and corpses. There were also ties to similar businesses in Las Vegas. Since these dealt directly with the public, families were left without answers. Julie donated her husband Steve's body and was promised his cremated remains back in a month. Oh, the news. James, he's another one been raping Tanika since she was 12 years old. Man. So when it was time, okay, he went to jail. He was supposed to do 50 years for them 76 dead bodies. Half of them was contaminated. So they selling contaminated organs and all. They not can't. But when the truck got pulled over, he took the fall. 50 years. But these higher ups want their money. You can't pay nothing back when you in jail. So they got him out. And what did he do? He offered Kanika. Didn't your mother teach you not to say anything at all if you can't say nothing nice? Truth would fall under that nice category. I bet she's rolling over in her grave now. Yes, I could speak on your deceased mother since she chose to speak on mine. So go get mad at your own self for running your own mouth with more lies again. What do you say? Karma. Zach Stoner. Uh -huh. you no, know, he's not from here. Why well, everybody keeps saying he's from Chicago? Man's from North Carolina for crying out loud. Mm. But he has some kin and some ties with Leaks and Sons Funeral Home. Mm. Yeah, see, people not really looking at this case for what it is. They really not trying to see it. Everybody want to be, my huh, mama ain't did nothing. First off, if people didn't pay attention, when you first, first off, anybody know where do you see the body of anybody at a crime scene? And, and when do they do that? And then, Teresa, first off, me being a mother, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it. Ain't no way in hell you finna tell me I can't touch my child and my child laying dead on this motherfucking gurney. So what are you screaming for? What? He ate what all? Quantel. You ate all the meat. There's a whole other thing in there. Did you sit there and eat that whole pack of lunch meat? No meat. Yeah, you did. Okay. Quantel. Yeah. That don't make no sense. What does it? That you just sat there and ate that whole pack of lunch meat. What are you talking about? Yes, Brazy 36. I'm going to give you something else. <coughs> Y'all do remember the, the, the young boy, Kendrick Johnson? He didn't fucking fireworks yet. He didn't fireworks. What do you mean eating fireworks? You're going to put me in a hospital. I'm, I'm going to. Convinced you want me to go into a paralytic shock if one of my kids something happened to one of them. Jazzy ain't no go. I had them sitting in the back where they couldn't reach him. He left them on the floor where they can get. No, I did them. not. Yes, she did. They was on the, the boxes on top of the bags. They was on top of the bags behind the coach, Jasmine. Mom, you act like they can't get back there. Half of the Roman candles is eaten. What you mean half of the Roman candles is eaten? Yes. But no, you two busy on live instead of being a parent. Oh this is what I'm talking about, mom. But it don't matter. It Make do your matter. live I... Kanika Jenkins people happy and just please. Not to mention, let's go in the room. Remember the girl that said that one girl with the Adidas jacket on sitting on top they claiming it's Kanika? It's not Kanika. It's the alleged Kanika. The lookalike. Let me tell you why that little girl flipping out. Cause she overheard them tell her she overheard them say she's next. That's where the sleepy time medicine come in at. That's where time mm. come in at. The, the medicine belongs to Tanisha. Tanisha is the one with MS. You know her medical, but you can't take care of your kids while they eating them fireworks and the Roman candles the other night. Yeah, she has she has muscular dystrophy too. That's what the medicine is mainly for. If y'all go to the elevator footage, that's not Kanika on the elevator. That's Tanisha. You can see a plain as day because the slick bitch smiles. That's Ty Rowland's sister, aka Charles Dorsey. Yeah, all of them. They all running one good circle, one big circle. Ah, they turn back over. Keep everything. That yes, same footage. Did. I'm pretty sure you remember the big boy that was sitting in the corner, right? Mm -hmm. That video dead. Mike Tate dead. 
What's his name? Lil Ty, dead. Cat, uh, mm-hmm. Peas, and what's the other one name? Killer, paralyzed. Mm-hmm. Hold up. Wait. So less than a month ago, Patrick did an armed robbery and trespassing criminally while he's paralyzed. Yeah, he survived, but they just don't know. It ain't nowhere near over. She might not get legal justice, but she getting street justice. What are y'all fussing about? Y'all want excuse me, give me y'all want me to cut the game off? No, we just get it right. Oh, actually, my my profile is on the, the blue one, uh, Javi. You on my profile, okay? And he on his own. You're gonna say that that's vape too? You rolling it, licking it, listening to the kids arguing. You got the kids right there. I bet you're gonna spark it up and blow it right on them. And you got the nerve to talk about any other mother on this planet, right? I mean, trust me, it, it shows them all in their room. It shows Ty, it shows Tanasia, and a couple of other people. Everybody that was in that room, that's everybody, I guess, that played their part. Everybody that played a part. You're playing a part of your daughter losing her kids. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's so much shit, so many twists, so many turns. This is one thing I want everybody to pay attention to, and I've noticed this just in the last two years. Have y'all not noticed? Every year after her birthday, more and more shit starts to pop up out the woodwork. Now, what I've noticed the last year and a half is the more you brought things to my attention and the more I showed you that it was wrong and it was incorrect, the more you decided to make up bigger lies. The more your daughter got on your ass about not paying those kids attention and using all those drugs in front of the kids, the more you're doing it online and leaving it up for the whole world to see. Yeah. Yeah, See, I'm actually, I was just actually, I'm actually getting ready to go do a live on my channel here in a little bit at about 930. I got people okay. asking 50 million questions. <laughs> my focus my focus right now is Irene and Parkland. Your focus needs to be on your kids and grandkids because Irene's not in the parking lot. We never see Irene in the parking lot. But you're dope. And your internet little fame, five minutes of fame, is more important than your children and grandchildren. You've made that abundantly clear. You haven't watched them. Now you're going to go do another live. Mm. So make it make sense. I got people telling me I'm reaching. Am I really? You're reaching for your drugs instead of your grandkids. I want you to go in and type in Selena Gomez's stepfather and watch what pops up. Hopefully what'll pop up is a disclaimer saying, folks, please don't do drugs. Don't let the internet go to your head because this will be what happens to you and your offspring. They'll be eating fireworks because they're not fed. And the oldest adult in the house who doesn't work, whose child supports them, and all they ask them to do is watch the kids and clean up around the house, rather focus on Irene in a parking lot that she was never in the parking lot of. Because that's the only thing that's important to her. is smoking and being on the internet. She pays nothing else any attention. If the kids disturb her by being too loud, she yells and screams and bellows at them. They're hungry all the time. She might throw them a bag of chips here and there. Sooner or later, the proper authorities are going to end up seeing one of my videos and seeing the evidence that you're putting out. There you go. Blow it right there where those kid yells are. Yeah. Grandma and mother of the decade. Yeah. And I know I used to get lit lit. Now, this is the thing I have, though. This is the question I have. Now, we all know when you get drunk, what's first thing? You get hot, right? Mm-hmm. First thing she did was take clothes off. Why she still fully dressed if she was so hot and went down to the freezer to cool off in a freezer that was never on to begin with? Again, folks, don't let drugs do you. There's no official report that states that she went down to the cooler to cool off because she was too hot. That was only in those gossip online tabloid websites that I told you to stay off of because they weren't putting out facts last year. Uh Uh-oh, now you did it. No dinner for you tonight. Sleep and breathe this case. I had to literally take that back for a whole year. Because this this, this, is... It's crazy. All right, let me get this straight. Now, you took a whole year off, and you didn't start until three years ago, so that leaves you two years. But somewhere in there, or actually about a year and a half, but somewhere in there, you think that you are day one. 
and you got all these answers, but you show no proof of it. And you know how Zach just got in the back seat and sliced her throat and killed her. Mm -hmm. Can't think of her name right now. She was 15. This is the one that they found in the abandoned building with all her organs cut out and the fingers and shit cut off, but ass naked. This shit's tied in the one. Now, guess who this little girl mama was? Remember the, lady Geneva, remember the lady Geneva Knox? Came up there looking for her at the hotel? But mm, now they get back out the hotel alive. Mm. Antonio LeVette Evans. All of that. They, they, mm. Antonio LeVette Evans is the one in the, that's buried under Kanika Jenkins' name. No, no. But again, ain't nobody ready for that conversation yet. Everybody want to keep that. I'm, I'm reaching. I'm fishing. What am I fishing for? Because I'm yeah. benefit. What am I benefiting out there? Like, I don't, people, I, don't, I don't need cash apps to investigate something that's already put out here for free. Mm -hmm. I, ain't got, I don't need people to pay me to give them the truth because it's already out there. Y'all just got to search for it. Everybody asks me, how you come up on this video? It's not what, first off, everybody making a mistake by stuck, stuck on them videos from Crown Plaza footage, period. All that shit is redacted. Ain't none of it real. If mm. they have some truth in it, they none yeah. of it real. It got truth in it, yeah, but none of it, it's all a reenactment. A movie, as I was told. At the end, people really want to Y'all really want to investigate this case and really understand this case, you don't have to go back 20 years. When you go back in 20 years, look up Mary Hoover, James Coleman, Chuck Dorsey, uh, Carl Nesbitt. All of them ran together years ago, except Larry Hoover. Mm. He was in jail at the time. But they all, while you got tiny on the time, we renegade, we crazy through. Your daddy was a, big, a goddamn gangster disciple before he was anything. See, that's the same here with me. Like every time I say, yeah, I can't know what you talking about. Um, excuse me, I'm with Larry Hoover's fine. Just in retirement. Too old for the but at the end of the day, who they the shit is crazy. Mm. Like now, I'm preparing my life now, right here as we speak. Mine is basically focused on the back, the back uh dock parking lot where you see Teresa pull in like she owned the place. And she gets out of the car and she goes and you see Tynan pull up right behind her. You see Tyne all his the crew, because everybody always wonder how Tynan got in the building. Came through the back door. Because his daddy, we, we're gonna say this again, Carl Nesbitt, was what he was working for, the construction company. That was putting together the Caddyshack. Mm. It ain't no coincidence all these people had a part. Mm -hmm. It ain't no coincidence. It ain't no coincidence this baby mysteriously ended up dead. First of all, this is where everybody keeps telling them to make their mistake at. The girl never made it to the hotel alive to get it. Mm. When she made it to the hotel, it was time enough to take her organs out and throw her downstairs, as they say, in the hospital, which is under the hotel. She was cremated. Why y'all think you can't find no records on her? You can't even find a death certificate on this baby. Mm. And that's fucked up. Yeah, that's crazy. It's beyond crazy. And yet the mama, you can finna sue them for $50 million. How you gonna sue them for $50 million when you have a choice to label it as an accident or a murder? You chose to go with accident. That was your decision. Carl Nesbitt worked for a big construction company that did work with the housing in Chicago. Not with little over remodel restaurants and hotels in Rosemont. The next time you decide to make up a whole bunch of lies, try doing some research because you're really, really making this too easy for me. And you're right. It was her choice because it's her child, not yours. And they're right. You're jealous because another black woman might just make it up out of the ghetto. You're jealous, period. That could be. It's only two people of that nature that would have been that party dripped out of that. One being Chief Key, the other one being Lidert. I rest my case. You hate on any black person doing better off than you. But look at you. You don't even try for your grandkids or your kids. You think you're going to get rich off of making up lies on social media about dead people? As long as there's people like myself, Miss Dana, Miss Jackie, Miss Gabrielle, Shamika B., Brenda, we ain't gonna let you. We shut shit down. Who shut shit down? We shut shit down.